Liam, five home matches so far, five victories, all competitions. How pleased are you with what you've seen at Pride Park? Yeah, couldn't be happier. That's, you, you base your season over your home form. It's the bedrock of any success that you have. So to have a 100% record, uh, I'm delighted with. Um, but the work has to continue. And what we can't do is um, get ahead of ourselves. We need to keep our feet on the floor and make sure we're ready for what's going to be a really, really difficult challenge against a very, very good Plymouth side who, um, no matter where they go, what I like about what they do, whether they play home or away, they go for the win. Um, and they, they've got a really set way of playing first with Ryan Lowe and Shuey's taken over from a really good coach and um, it's going to be a very, very good game on Saturday. We'll talk more about them a, a little bit later. You, you kept things ticking along on Tuesday against Grimsby. How happy were you with, with how professional the guys kept? That was the, that was the biggest thing uh, for me before the game was it was about the culture of our group about what we stand for and what couldn't please me more was after the game uh, Paul Hurst the Grimsby manager came into the office and said that we were a credit uh, to ourselves and a credit to the club and that players like James Collins and, and David McGoldrick with what they've done in their careers the work rate of the team the work rate of them as individuals they were um, really impressed with that and they said they were using us as an example to their lads so as a manager, you, you can't ask for any more than that. And that's all credit to the players. And it's what I expect and what I demand in terms of every session, every game we play means everything. And, and they certainly did that on, on Tuesday night. You mentioned David McGoldrick, you mentioned James Collins. You could go through and, and name everyone, really. Um, the guys are giving you headaches. Good headaches, but still. Great headaches. Um, and again, what I will say is we, I will rotate through the season. This whole squad's been put together. Um, to make sure that no matter what the changes are to the team, if there are changes, the team isn't weakened and that we have a freshness about us in the way that, that we play. We can, be, we can pinpoint areas of the opposition where I think we can hurt them and it's on a game-by-game -game basis. And Louis Sibley, Louis Dobbin, David McGoldrick, James Collins, Nat, uh, Tom Barkeyes and unbelievable. I can only fit a few of those players into a starting eleven to get the balance of the team right. But what I will do, they will all get their games, they will be rotated through the season, and I think that's the best way to get us success over the long term. It is transfer deadline day, a favourite subject of, of everyone in the room. Uh, as we speak right now, I think there are about nine hours or so to go, so I appreciate things can change. But what is the, the state of play right now? The state of play is we're really settled with the group that we've got. The most important people are the people that are in the building. I'm really happy with the squad. And what that's enabled me to do is be really, really selective over these last few weeks in identifying the last one or two that I want to sign. Um, and that's a great position for me to be, to be in. So I'm not desperate. I'm not scrambling around. Thank God I'm not scrambling around trying to get this player in and that player in. I can be really, really selective in terms of this process and make sure if we do make any signings that they're the right ones for the club. Speculation swirls every transfer window. Um, do you laugh when you see some of the names that get linked and, and some of the deals that Derby have apparently done or are going to um, do? I don't really take notice of it. I don't really read about it, to be honest with you. I know what we're trying to do. Obviously, I know the targets that I want the club to sign and that we're working really, really hard to get in. So anything like that, don't take any notice of it. Um, and, and I think the only unsettling thing is if, if players are reading it and it's players in their position, that's not a good thing. But I've been really open and transparent in the way I work with you and with the players and they know what I'm trying to do. Um, and we're all on the same page and I'm really, really excited. Regardless of what happens today, with the work that, we'd, that we've done, we're going to have a really, really good season. Plymouth up next then on, on Saturday. You mentioned them already. It's a final match of this four-game sort of runner at home for you. And, and it's another test for you, isn't it? Big test. Very good team. Very well coached. You can see in the points total they've got already. Um, and also with the season they had last year. So they've done some really, really good recruitment. They've got a really, really long-term plan at the club and you can see that working for them. So it's going to be similar to the Peterborough game. It's going to be a tough test for us. We came through that one in the end with flying colours and then hopefully we can do that on Saturday. But what we can't do is take our foot off the gas and make sure that we keep preparing and keep the professionalism right to make sure we get three points. It's been a tricky start for you at home, actually, hasn't it? Oxford, Barnsley, Peterborough, now Plymouth. These are all sides that are expected to be up there yeah I expect them all to be up there at the end of the season so it's been a great benchmark for me and, and for, for Justin and Bucko and the staff to see where we're actually are in terms of this league it's been a learning process for me um, I've had experience in this league but that was when I was 17 years old as a player so I'm learning the league I'm learning it's one thing watching games and we watch a lot of games throughout the summer uh, in terms of league one but it's another thing being in it 
and making sure we've got the right ingredients and the right recipes for success. I think we're completely on the right track. I couldn't be happier with the start, but we now need to end this run of home games with, an, with another three points, and that's what I'll be demanding from the players.